welcome students to today's class today we are discussing about scientific method so what is scientific method scientific method is a series of steps scientists follow to solve problems when scientists solve problems or when they conduct research they follow a series of six steps in an order that six steps are called scientific methods so what are these six steps step 1 state the problem next gather information third form hypothesis fourth is test the hypothesis next is analyze data and the last one is draw conclusion so when scientists uh, solve a problem or when they conduct research they follow these six steps in an order this is called scientific method now let us discuss each step in detail what is the first step state the problem students in this step you decide what's the problem that you want to solve what's the subject that you want to investigate For example, if you want to study that, if you drop a one kilogram object and a ten kilogram object from the top of a building, will it take same amount of time to reach the ground, or will it take different time? So we we want to study that what's the effect of mass of an object, mass of a stone on falling time. So this is the first step. In this step, we decide you decide what's the problem that you need to solve, what's the subject that you need to investigate. and student step 2 is gather information in this step you conduct a research and you check whether any other scientist has already done this experiment if they have done if anybody else has already done the experiment what's the result they got what's the explanation they gave okay so in this step you conduct a research to collect all the information about the problem about the subject that you want to study you want to investigate and make sure that uh when you conduct a research you must be depending on only only on the trustable resources the next is step 3 forming hypothesis in this step you predict the result of the experiment okay before conducting the experiment you are predicting what will be the result of the experiment for example let us predict like this the falling time will be same for all the stones irrespective of their masses or let us predict uh higher the masses it will take less time to reach the ground so like that you make predictions uh based on the information you have collected okay next students we will go to the step 4 step 4 is testing the hypothesis in this step you are actually conducting the experiment to check whether the hypothesis you made in step 3 is correct or not so here you are going to the top of the building and you are dropping a 1 kg object and recording the time taken then you are dropping a 2 kg object from the top of the building and recording the time taken like that you are repeating the experiment with the different masses and each time you are recording the time taken and you are recording your data then next is step 5 analyze data in this step you will examine your experimental result you will make a table like this and one column you are writing the mass of the stone and one column you are writing the falling time what's the time taken by the, by each mass to reach the ground so just for example we have got 3 second for all the masses which means uh, all the masses are taking same time to reach the ground so uh, in this step we are analyzing the data we have recorded the next step is draw conclusion so uh, from the uh, an analyzed data we make a conclusion from here we understand that uh, the all the masses are taking same amount of time to reach the ground so mass of stone does not affect on uh, does not affect the falling time so what what's our conclusion the conclusion we can make like this all the masses uh, will take same amount of time to reach the ground so this is the step 6 based on our experimental data we make a conclusion so we made a conclusion that mass has no effect on the falling time so if our conclusion support to the hypothesis then we need to repeat we need to repeat the experiment uh to confirm the result of the experiment if suppose uh different masses are taking different time like for example 1 kg object is taking 5 second and the 5 kg object is taking about 3 second so like that if different masses are taking different time 
then our hypothesis is not correct right because what is the hypothesis we made here uh, here we made the falling time will be same for all the stones so if we are getting different time for different mass which means our uh, experiment result is not supporting the hypothesis so in that case you need to go back and you need to change your hypothesis so students these are the six steps of scientific method step one state the problem in this step you decide uh, what's the problem you want to solve the next step is gather information here you conduct a research to collect all the information about the problem and in this step you ask is any other scientist has already done this experiment so what was the result he got what are the details he has given then step three is form hypothesis in this step you predict what will be the result of the experiment step four is test the hypothesis in step four you are actually conducting the experiment to check whether your hypothesis is correct or not and in step five analyze data here you are analyzing the result of your experiment and based on that in step six you are making conclusions next students uh, when you plan an experiment you need to decide what are the variables to be taken so there are three types of variable first one is independent variable the next is dependent variable and third one is controlled variable what is the independent variable independent variable means the variable you are changing during the experiment for example in the experiment that you have done now uh, you, each time when you do you are changing the mass right first you are dropping the one kilogram object then two kilogram object then three kilogram object like that each time you are changing the mass of the object so the variable that you are changing is called independent variable so in this experiment mass mass of the stone is the independent variable next what is dependent variable dependent variable means during the experiment what are you measuring so in this uh, for example in this experiment you are measuring the falling time so the variable that you are measuring during the experiment is called dependent variable and in this experiment falling time is the dependent variable because each time when you repeat the experiment you are measuring falling time then what is controlled variable controlled variable means the variables that is unchanged that's constant that's same throughout the experiment that for example when when you are doing this experiment each time you are dropping the stone from the same height so height or the distance traveled here is the is unchanged is same is constant throughout the experiment so height is a controlled variable in this experiment